Inspire your minds to inspire others. Shall we dive a little deeper into your minds? You see the word inspiration. It's more than just love making. It's more than just medicine for the sick. To inspire others is to heal or be healed. It's to bring darkness to light. Life was very simple a century ago. It was so easy to inspire others. From listening to records from the Beatles, to hearing speeches from the great Dr. King. We live in a world where we're constantly being bombarded with endless text messages to the latest iPhone models, to keeping up with the Kardashian models. We're just so lost that we never stop for a moment and actually think about ourselves, our growth, our success, and how we can inspire others to become as powerful as us. Our minds are so powerful, stronger than any Intel or Snapdragon chip on your androids. Our body can heal the sick with just the right touch. And our minds can set us free with just the right words. What's going on in our society today? It's a new world donkey. And what it's trying to impose to us. First, you start off practically driving the same type of cars. Prius, Camry. To having the same type of iPhones. To ending up with the same type of thought process. We're just so focused on others. Then our very own growth that we can't even learn to inspire our own selves with originality anymore. Taking a risk, being bold, is definitely out of the question. Just play it safe and you're in the game. What happened to our three-dimensional world? A world where we had great thinkers and innovators, from Steve Jobs to Gandhi, with innovating ideas to such messages that led a nation to pursue happiness and liberty for all. 